In this video, I'm going to take you through version 2 of Aave. The centralised money market Aave has now rolled out version 2 with new features making the protocol more flexible and efficient. And we'll check out some of the new features now, but for a more in-depth look into these, check out their Medium post or everybithelps.co.uk. DeFi protocol Aave has grown at record speed with a market size of over $1 billion, enabling users to lend and borrow a diverse range of cryptocurrencies and bringing the likes of flash loans and A tokens as a way to unlock capital and provide permissionless savings accounts. And now the Genesis team are introducing new features to unlock even more value in DeFi and make the overall experience more seamless. So let's jump in and head over to Aave.com, where you'll see the option for either version 1 or version 2 at the top here. So let's open up version 2. And with my wallet connected, you'll now see that the user interface does appear different, with your navigation tabs at the top of the screen as opposed to a pane on the left. Immediately you're presented with the markets page, and you'll notice that the market size here is obviously less than over on version 1. But this will continue to grow as more and more users start to adopt version 2. Now one thing to mention here is that deposits or liquidity that you've made into Aave's version 1 do not yet show on the dashboard of version 2. But don't worry, you won't have to withdraw and redeposit into version 2 as this will be automated. Recently, AIP3 was passed to make the migration from version 1 to version 2 more seamless. By using a flash loan powered migration tool, users will be able to make the transition without having to close their version 1 loan positions. And this migration tool will be introduced later. So if you have version 1 positions, don't worry, you don't need to close them. And I personally have deposits over on version 1, but it's obviously not appearing here for me. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and deposit some ETH shortly. And under deposit, it shows your connected wallet balances. Now one thing for me personally that I would like to see is the ability to hide zero balances here, instead of me having to scroll down. But I'm going to go ahead now and deposit one ETH into here. And to interact and deposit, that's cost me just over $7. Now anyone using Ethereum recently has probably noticed some network congestion and high gas prices for transactions. And to help mitigate with these costs, Aave2 introduces gas optimizations, lowering the cost of protocol transactions of up to 50% in some cases. Plus for those of you who use the likes of Argent, Zappa or Zerion, you can also access Aave version 2 directly from these wallets and platforms. And I have full tutorials for these available if you're interested in finding out more. But now that that deposit is showing up in my dashboard, let's take a look at some of the new features. So one of the most exciting ones is the yield and collateral swap. Previously, assets used as collateral were tied up. However, in version 2, they can be traded freely, meaning that users can trade their deposited assets across all currencies supported in the Aave protocol even when they're being used as collateral. And this collateral swapping can be particularly helpful when you're trying to avoid liquidations. Because if the price of your collateral starts to fall, you can simply trade it for a stable coin so that you don't have to worry about price fluctuations and potential liquidation. Then under borrow, there's also the ability to make a repayment with collateral. Before version two, if a user wanted to use part of their collateral to repay a loan, they'd have to withdraw the collateral, use it to buy the borrowed asset, and then finally repay the debt and unlock the deposited collateral. And this required at least four transactions across multiple protocols, which is neither time nor cost efficient. However, users can now close their loan by paying directly with their collateral in just one single transaction. And this is all powered by flash loans. The Ethereum innovation in which a borrower opens and closes a loan 
within a single Ethereum block. Plus also within borrowing, you can also have a stable borrow position and a variable borrow position at the same time. And this gives you more options and flexibility for your loan positions. And you're still able to switch between the variable and the stable rate at any time too. And there are other features too within the new version, however require developers to build on top, such as the likes of debt tokenization, where borrowers receive tokens to represent their debt, and native credit delegation, which will soon be added to the user interface, but is only currently available for developers at the moment. And there's also been some security and audit updates too. Plus they also have some giveaways in conjunction with CoinGecko. And to celebrate the launch of version 2, the first 100 addresses to use version 2 and deposit at least $100 worth of assets for at least 10 days will also receive an extra special Pioneers NFT in partnership with POAP. So that's some of the new features in Aave version 2. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.